up world changers hey I'm Pastor Daniel and I am ready to tell you guys the Bible story for today in fact you know what I have a great idea to how I want to share this message with you guys and you know we've been talking about you know Pastor Ali started the new series about creativity that's our virtue being creative and so I want to I want to be kind of creative so I know someone who can help me tell the story. Uh, let's see, um, other me, Daniel, are you there? I'm here, I'm here. Perfect, What's I've up? got a fun What's way up? that I'm you here, can everybody. use your creativity. Can you use these pool noodles to illustrate what um, we're gonna be talking about you know today? All right, well, let's it. get started. Got it, here we go. So, in the New Testament, we can find quite a few letters written by a man named Paul. Everybody say, Paul. I hope you said Paul, or else this would be big up. Paul wrote to believers in different churches. Now, we've learned about this in, in our past series, uh, Focus Series. We did that for two months, and we talked about a little bit about Paul. So, I want to remind you a little bit. So, he wanted to encourage the people that he would write to, the churches that he would write to, and he would want them to encourage them to, to try to follow Jesus, right? He, as they followed him, he wanted to encourage them. He always sent them like, hey, you got this. You can do it. It's all good. See, Paul started a church in Ephesus. Nice job. Nice job. The churches back then didn't really look like ours do now. In fact, the believers usually met in homes so exactly what we're doing right now like I'm at my house you know we're here in our home together and I'm you know you're hopefully you're watching on your TV or on your phone in your house and so it's really cool that back then they used to meet in homes as well just like we're doing right now so this is actually great this is really good creativity now as Paul went around telling people about Jesus he was so bold that he actually got in trouble with the Roman government. Remember, we talked about this again, that they didn't want people talking about Jesus. So Paul ended up in jail in Rome. He was in jail. Wow. But even though Paul had good reason to complain, he used his time creatively. He wrote letters to the churches that he started, right? Including the church at Ephesus. He reminded them that God created us to do good things for others. See, let's check out what he wrote as it's recorded in Ephesians 2.10. And it says this, We are God's creation. He created us to belong in Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. That's really good stuff. So let's, let's break it down a little bit more though. Can you keep helping me? Sure thing. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Um, um, what are you going to use that for? Hmm. All right. Well, let's dig into what Paul wrote. The very first part of that verse says this. We are God's creation. All throughout the Bible, we read that God not only created us, but he also made us in his image and so that means that God made us to be just like him and since God is creative we can be creative too speaking of being creative Daniel or me what are you creating right now well I'm using these pool noodles oh, here we go. Let's see if this works. to make some sort of art Super cool and creative. Well, let's get back to that verse. Part two, it says, you know, we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. When we put our trust in Jesus, it changes the way that we see the world. That is what makes us so unique to the rest of the people, to, you know, to people that might not know Jesus because Jesus has that relationships with us. And so that's why that we are able to go and meet the needs of other people. Let's finish reading what Paul wrote. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us 
to do. We can use our creativity to do Wait, good I work idea. that God planned for us to do. We can use the gifts that God gives us, that God gave us to help the people around us. Here you go. I made this for you. It says, you're, you're awesome. awesome. Aww, thanks for this super Aww, cool card. It, it makes me feel so good card. about me. Thank you, me, for making this card this about, about right me. Here. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. You know, I thought of a creative way to encourage myself and make my day better. But see, you can do the same thing because God created each of us. And he has planned out good works for each of us. Good works that can encourage others. You know what, Daniel? Thanks for all your help. Thanks for all you did to help me. Thanks for showing us You're all welcome. a good and fun, creative way to do good works. All right, so here's something that we need to remember. The creativity God gives us isn't just about art and music and, and painting and all these other things because see, God has designed you, the person that's watching right now, in a unique way to love Him and love others. That's what God, that's what Paul meant by good works. See that he meant that, that we could use the unique way that we were all created that God has designed us to show other people love because we're all good at different things. Okay. So like I might be good at something and you might be good at something else. And that's the cool thing about how God created us because I can help these people because I'm good at this and you can help other people because you might be good at something else. See, for some people, those creative good works are things like drawing, or maybe singing, or painting incredible things, or, or for some people, creativity might look totally different, like building a robot, or being super good at math, or designing cool apps and games and making people laugh, or whatever it may be. I don't know, maybe it's good at being good at volleyball, like me. Okay, I'm not that good at volleyball. But you get the point, right? God has created us differently. No matter how God made you creative, you can use that creativity to help others. But before you can even use your creativity, you need to believe, you have to understand that you are already creative in the first place. And that's what I'm here to tell you. That's what our bottom line is. It's that God created you so you can be creative. Let's thank God for making us creative and let's ask Him to help us to use each of our unique talents. Our, let's, help, let's ask Him to help us use our creativity so that we can help others in need around us. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much, God, for creating us and for being the, the original creator. We thank you that you have made us creative. God, you've made us unique and special in, in, in different ways. And I just ask that you would help to see each, that you would help show each world changer that they are created, that they are special, that they are unique, and that you can use them to do good works. We love you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. I can't I can do anything better than you. Better than you. Better, better than you. Natalie here. I've got my whole crew here with me. Got Mr. Mitchell right here. Say your name. So we're about to play this game called the slide on your back race. And basically what we're gonna have to do is lay on our backs and slide from here all the way to right here. So whoever can do it the fastest, which is gonna be me, wins. So
One, go, go, go! Fast, fast, Hamish! Go, 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 go! Go, Hamish, go! Go! go. Hey. Oh. Mom's turn. Here we go. Here we. <laughs> and three. It's going to be everybody. Here we go. Let that go. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Uh-oh. He's going slow. He's going slow. He's going slow. Up the game, and it's time to announce our winners and first place. Yeah, we got third place, Abram, fourth, and Ezra. Hey, you know what this means, though, right? Boys win, boys rule. <laughs> All right, guys, that was so much fun. I'm glad you guys could join us. Um, play this at home with your families. Um, it's a fun game. You guys are going to enjoy it. Um, but just a disclaimer, if you have carpet and you get hurt, it's not on us. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.